Hey guys, what's going on? So, I borrowed me mate's trailer. And she's got no brakey brakes. So, I thought I'd make a quick video on why they don't work, how to find leaks, etc. So, the first thing we're going to do is put some fluid in it and see if we can't build up some pressure. And see if we can't detect the leak. It could be a brake cylinder, it could just be a joint. Under the middle of this thing, there is a um, T piece. A little bit of fresh. Heavy duty dot four. Get that in there without the wind blowing it all over us. Oh, it's going to suck it into the pump. It's pulling the air out of the system, you see the bubbles? I'm going to also lubricate this slide here because it looks like it hasn't been for a long time. It's been moving because that was bent and it wouldn't go in there. It's just a process. Every time you let go, watch, you'll let it go slow. See the fluid level drop? Every time we do that, it gets a little bit firmer. Right on. Now I'll crack a couple of bleeders and see if we can't get it, uh, get it to start pressurising. So I don't have a uh, one-man brake bleeding kit yet. So one thing you can do is pump it up and latch the handbrake, which will stop it from sucking back, to allow you to go down and shut the brake bleeder. Let it sneak back nice and slow. Same again, is the bleeder on the passenger side of the trailer, it's only just got fluid then. Right, well that's the brake, pumped a bit of the rubbish. Yeah. Really need to go to super cheap and just buy myself a one man brake bleeder kit, but if I went super cheap and bought everything I need straight away, I would uh, never have any money. Okay. That would come back slowly by itself. Like that. Oh. I can hear brake cylinders moving. Right. It doesn't seem to be leaking down either. Alright. So the next thing you want to do is adjust your preload so that it's actually going to contact before the coupler is completely travelled. Alright then, we've got as much slack out of that as we can so that it's, that's actually starting to apply the brake with just that much tension there. Um, probably go longer if you had a longer bolt or whatever, not a big drama though. Uh, lubed up the slide, uh, I've got a grease gun at home so I'll give them a hit grease it properly, but it should actually slide now. 
WD-40 can's about dead. Yeah. So. We'll have a look underneath it. Make sure it's not leaking fluid anywhere. And it's not. Yeah, we should be good to go. <clears throat> so, if you've got a car trailer, well, just any kind of trailer that's got the old hydraulic override brakes, that's basically all you've got to do to freshen them up a bit, have a bit of fluid on you, and do that, and it might not put you in a nasty situation where you can't stop. Hope this little quick tip video kind of thing helped you, helped someone out. If uh, you're not subscribed, check a subscribe. The uh, subscribe buttons will be on the top and uh, bottom of the right hand side and there'll be some more videos on the left thanks heaps for watching guys let's go pick up another car